Hey good fellas, look with whom I am here today. <laughs> hey good fellas, let's go. <laughs> Mark is here because he's, uh, he's, he's picking up a pen that he purchased here from Style of Two. Finally. And, and I w it's time for unboxing, right? <laughs> yes. So Marcus, this is it, eh? Yeah, this is your. Uh, how many pens you have in your collection already? Oh, you know? I don't know. Too many. Too many pens. A lot, thank, right? Thanks to you. I, I, I brought you into the rabbit hole. That's a good thing. <laughs> it's like, oh, I just buy this first one, you know, and then suck. Yeah. <laughs> Three years later, seven, eight pens, you're, you're here, you know? So now you have. Should we count them already? Yeah, so like, I have a few which which uh, I didn't buy here, but it's like more independent uh, small small pens. But I have I think four or five Pelican pens now, two Montblanc, uh, Rouge and Noir with the snakes, which I really yeah. love a lot. I have the Sailor uh, yes. Demonstrator, and which I love a lot because you can see the ink. And then I have the Otto Hu Design C. Yeah. Which was, you know, I, I think I'm gonna go in this realm now of buying maybe like one big piece per year, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, like with watches, you learn that instead of buying, you know, many, you many, you buy a few good ones. I agree with you. you know, so, yeah. <laughs> That's no, no, yeah. because it's also like, I mean, you're used to very nice watches. Yes. So, you're already a collector of fine things. Yeah. And, uh, and with pens, it's so similar that it's almost it's, crazy, it's right? It's the same, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Also, with watches, now I'm at a stage where I look at the whole table of watches and I'm like, listen, I don't wear them like almost never. You know? yeah, Some yeah. watches I never wear, like yeah. with pens as well. I'm gonna basically scale down the collection now a lot yeah, you're by gonna maybe 30-40%. Yeah. And again, buy bigger pieces with that yeah. money. Like, have you read a bit about the, this edition? Yes, a bit, but I forgot all the names because it's super complicated. Yeah, it is, it is. But, yeah, but uh, look, I'm just gonna tell quickly what I think about it. When yeah. this came out, I was really amazed because it was the first pattern of art yeah. with a, a big cap, you know? And uh, yeah, this is the box, uh, how it comes. And I said, wow, this yeah. is gonna be one of the pieces that in a few years, people will start understanding more than what they mm. did when it came out. Uh, it's aesthetically beautiful. Yeah. It's out of the ordinary. Yes. I've seen a lot of pattern of art being released over the last yeah. 15 years. This is really something out of the ordinary. And everything that is out of the ordinary over time yes. gains value. It's gonna be special. Yeah, exactly. it's special. And it's, exactly. it, it finds a special community, I think, you know, like it's, you have your typical Mont Blanc pens, which yeah. you can use for a daily basis, but this is gonna be a more, you know, stay at home, maybe in the office, like a display piece. Absolutely. More or less. Absolutely. Or for your, you know, inner thoughts, you know, really the important stuff. Or, you know, that that crazy contract and you go yes. with your Moctezuma and you're like, with, you, with your spear and Yeah, you know. exactly. <laughs> it's really like almost... You're like, wow, you're a very humble guy, yeah? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Just put one but, more zero behind. But we don't care about what people think of <laughs> exactly. us, you know, they, think, they should... Let them think what they want. That was, that was a few years ago. Now it's completely gone. So let's do this. Huh? The packaging is really nice. Again, absolutely much nice. bigger than uh, any other pen I have now. Although the uh, Montegraf, Auto, the Hood is bigger as well. And the, yeah, the, yeah, Monte and the Monte Graf also. The Monte Graf because you have the big yes. little box. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this is a fancy box. Huh? Jesus. And this beautiful petrol blue. Yes. Uh, Ads deck uh, inspired. This is nice, the man. snake. Uh, it's really cool. It's a limited edition. Oh, 1999, huh? One nine nice, nine. nice, nice, nice. Oh, that's a cool one, huh? My, uh, my year of birth. I'm kidding. <laughs> a bit of history about the pen, I assume. Huh? There's Very the cool. old explanation in here. This is also your, your international warranty. Mm. Uh, the, the number is already like written from the from Hamburg. And also the, there is always like a stamp. Mm -hmm. And if I'm not wrong, yeah, there's even like uh, certified by the master craftsmanship of the Mont Bleu Atelier. So nice. each 4,810 pieces, there's one master craftsman who signs them and makes sure it that this a look pen... Uh, quality yeah. control, everything. Exactly. Is cool. exactly. This is nice, a booklet about this pens. I have to say that I can't wait to read the book because on the Mont Blanc website, there's yep. not a lot of information there. So let's see this. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Are we going to put effort? <laughs> Nice. Yeah, what a this piece, is huh? cool. Uh, this is definitely not a pen to put it. <laughs> no, no I mean, you, you're right. It's a uh, thick jacket. Uh. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Damn, uh, so many details. Yeah, I mean, I listened, I watched the YouTube videos this morning. I know this is like a sundial with the resin with the Mondo logo. Mm -hmm. The clip is a spear. A spear, yeah. yeah. With like a triangular stone at the Absolutely. end. Absolutely. The sides is a quetzal, some bird feathers, you know. 
Again, it's uh, ah, you're saying everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, what, what I think is also beautiful <laughs> is this decoration underneath the translucent lacquering. Okay, size, yeah. Beautiful size. And what's also very interesting, yeah. Mark, and you will find this even more interesting, is the fact that when you have it as a whole, it's mm. quite a big pen. Yeah. But once you unscrew it, yeah. And you pull it out. And you take the, out the sacrificial dagger. The, exactly. <laughs> 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 It becomes actually a, a pretty reasonable size pen. It is, it is, it is. And that's the kind of yeah. size that you personally really like yes. to write yeah, with. Yeah, yeah, I mean, if you have those Japanese pens, the big ones. Yeah, the kind of pens. Yes. And the new those are super real. light, so kind of it balances it out. Yeah. But usually I don't like uh, the normal Mont Blancs yeah. because they're too heavy. But yeah. this is nice. And just the decoration, the techniques are just insane. Yeah, yeah you have this martelet on, on the piston. What's in also interesting about the piston is this is not a piston you simply turn. Unwrap oh, this. he's unwrapping it. I'm crazy. It. <laughs> <laughs> Savage. <Yeah. laughs> um, now it's really mine. <laughs> what's, what's funny? Yeah, now you gotta buy it. <laughs> now it's official. <laughs> cut, cut. <laughs> What's interesting is this one, you don't just turn it, yeah. twist it, but you first pull it, yeah. and then you twist yeah, it. Nice. And it's also one of the first time Mont Blanc is using this kind of mechanism. They used it on the Heritage. Yeah. It is a mechanism that reminds a bit also to the pull and twist mechanism of mm -hmm. Otto Hood, yeah. but the pull and twist mechanism of Otto Hood is made by, in the, by the engineers at Otto Hood. So, so this is a probably side. patented or something. It, it's <coughs> patent pending, I think. Yeah, yeah nice. they're, uh, they're working on, on the patent, but yeah, it's, uh, ah, it's beautiful. 18 karat gold nib yeah. with its own decoration on it, specifically for this edition. With the logo, I think it's like a cactus with three arms. Exactly. You see this beautiful like red, dark, like it's Black almost color. like, yeah, it's, but what kind of red is it? It's, uh, I can't name it, but it goes uh, slightly into a rose. Yeah. So it's not a a, a deep red, very elegant, yeah, it is. and matches very well to the, to the petrol, right? And this is the same color as the box, huh? which exactly. again, small details. So. Exactly. So this is cool, huh? I really like it. It's a, I think, uh, from what I read, this, when it's like assembled, the whole thing is basically a, a spear, yeah. that it flies further or something yeah. like that, because of these flaps here. Yeah. Plus it's also, yeah, it's damn cool, that's it. I'm so happy, Mark, <laughs> that you are a proud We're owner geeking of this out. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yes, I, I know somebody already on Instagram and I can't wait to send him a photo. Oh, perfect, yeah, perfect. Right. It's like watch kicks, you know. So what is Patreon of Art, let's say, what, what, what can we expect uh, coming? Actually, no, fun is, what can we expect coming? Nothing, okay. because the Patreon of Art uh, is finished now. So the Victoria and Albert. So this is the last the, one? No, this is not the last one. The Victoria and Albert are the, yeah. the last two pieces. Nice. And this concludes the Patron of Art collection that started with the Lorenzo de' Medici back in 1991, if I'm not wrong, mm. when I was born. I don't remember if it was 91 or 92. One of these this two mm. uh, years. This one was like Vorletzt, uh, how we say. Yeah. <laughs> in the, in the, <laughs> so the second to last. Yeah, yeah second yeah. to last. and. Still, so big it. meaning, and, and that's over. Next year, I'm saying this, there's gonna be a new collection. Mm. Ah, I won't say, because I don't know if there's embargo on it. Excuse but there's gonna be a new collection uh, <laughs> that will continue, also limited to 4,810 uh, 4, yeah. pieces. Mm. But I think that's an interesting question you did. So, yes. the Patron of Art collection is over, it's done. So, actually, now collectors can collect Yes, the, the now the collecting starts. Yeah, yeah because exactly. It's over, basically. You yeah. can start sure. all over to to to, to now. Sure. Uh, I think 91, so 30 years of uh, of collection. Yeah. Wow. Damn. So I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> Good to yeah. Know. You see. You see. It's uh, interesting. <laughs> and in the watch world, the Mont Blanc is basically like a Rolex. Right? Absolutely. And Absolutely. this is like a, what a platinum day date or something. Absolutely. Yeah. Do you know approximately how many Daytonas are produced per year? Between 15,000 and 20,000 Daytonas. Okay. okay? Well, let's say between 10,000 and 20,000. The majority is probably steel. steel yeah, ceramic. steel, steel. Yeah. But it's 10 to 20,000 pieces priced retail mm -hmm. at from, like 12,000. From 12 to 30 depends if okay. it's gold. Yeah. This pen here yeah. is priced at like $3,000 yeah. and it's limited to 4,810 pieces. Yeah. So imagine when the market will grow, yeah. what will happen also with the value of those pieces? It's normal calculation. Mm. The more people are interested in pens, the more this kind of very small limitations will go up and up in price. Yeah. That's not why you buy it, I know it. But yeah, I think it's course. always interesting to understand where we're at in this industry right yeah, now. Of course, no, it's important, I think. And again, if you collect just these pens in the three to four, five, eight K category, I think it's also important at the end of the day, you know? Yeah, but just cool. This is gonna be a nice uh, prop to the photos as well. Yeah. 
Fantastic. Thank you, Sam. Really Marco, love it. appreciate it as always. Sam. Thank you for coming. It was great having you here once the again. Best, the, the pen game changer. <laughs> <laughs> and, and guys, Marco, Marco is a real game changer because he has reached more than 100,000 subscribers yes. on YouTube. Yeah. That's crazy. Thank Within, you. I think, two, three years. Three I years, mean, yeah, three years. It's been a long ride. <laughs> it's been a long ride, but the incredible work you have done, yes, Marco. Thank so you, thank compliments you. and Same heads up you. on that. Same to you. Yeah, I'm still on And guys, as always, like and subscribe if you like this video, share it with somebody who loves pens as much as you do. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. And, and don't forget to that together we're changing the game. <laughs> <laughs>